Coming up on the first Falcon Fever of 2013, the men's basketball team pulled off two wins over the weekend, bringing the team closer to the NCAA tournament. And we go behind the scenes to learn how MassCom students stream all the home basketball games. Plus, one basketball player tells us about her success and what it's like to be on the team. Falcon Fever starts now. Hello and welcome to the first edition of Falcon Fever of the New Year. I'm Mike Lartris. And I'm Sloan Gibby. Thanks so much for joining us. First up today is women's basketball. After finishing last season with a losing record, the Falcons are having a great 12-13 year so far. The women are currently 11-7 overall and 6-3 in PBC play. Led by strong play from sophomore Taylor Beverly, the Falcons have been a fun team to watch. The women hosted Francis Mary on January 19th, and it was a game to remember. Sophomore Taylor Beverly led the Falcons with a double-double, posting 25 points and 17 rebounds. Down with one point with just two seconds left in the game, senior Zina Nazalowski caught a tipped pass and put the ball up for a last-second Falcons victory. Nazalowski finished the game with 13 points and nine rebounds. The Falcons then took on visiting UNC Pembroke in a PBC match on January 21st. Led by Taylor Beverly's 16 points, the Falcons went into the second half leading by four. But Montevallo's poor play in the second half and 15 total turnovers gave Pembroke the victory 61 to 53. Zina Nazalowski once again came just short of a double-double, posting 10 points and nine rebounds, while senior Trina Moore-Smith had a solid offensive game with 14 points. The women traveled to Columbus State on January 24th before returning home to host Armstrong Atlantic here at Bank Trust Arena on January 26th. The men's basketball team tipped off conference play over the holiday break, looking to defend their PBC crown and make another run at the NCAA tournament. After a 5-2 start to the conference play, the Falcons looked to continue their winning ways on a two-game homestand. First up was Francis Marion last Saturday afternoon Sophomore Taran Brown scored a new career high 30 points, while senior Jico Hightower added another double-double to his season, dropping 23 points and grabbing 13 rebounds. The Falcons crushed to an 83-72 win over the Patriots. The long weekend continued on MLK Day with a record-setting night against UNC Pembroke. The hot shooting Falcons broke the NCAA record for three-point shooting percentage in a game. Hitting under 69% from downtown, Taran Brown put another show scoring 26 points. Marvin Fitzgerald and Ryan May each scored 19 points. The Falcons won that game 84-61. to The Falcons are back in action on the 24th when they visit PBC rival Columbus State. The team returns to Bank Trust Arena on the 26th to host Armstrong Atlantic. Then a road game with Young Harris on the 31st closes out a busy month for the team. Man, that game was amazing. They did a fantastic job. But I bet you guys didn't know that most of those shots, actually all of those shots, were shot by MassCom majors. Yeah, Falcon Fever correspondent Jolene Hanna has more. Bank Trust Arena, the men's basketball team faced off against UNC Pembroke in a conference match. But before the game, the fans and the players were entertained by Professor Kinghouse. Or maybe it was the other way around. During the game, the Falcons set a new NCAA record for shooting from the three-point line. It was a tight game, but UM pulled ahead for the win. The final score was 84-61. Way to go, Falcons. Not everyone gets to come out to the games and watch the Falcons play, but what you might not know is you can still watch from home. Mass comm students like these help out with that. Armed with cameras, the internet, and many other electronic weapons, these students live stream all the home games for the basketball teams on Ustream so everyone can watch. Even I got in on the live streaming action when I directed the women's game streaming earlier in the day. Well, today I helped um, run cameras for the game today and I really enjoyed it. And lots of people like that. While they may not be able to come out to all the games, they can still support their favorite teams. Uh, yeah, I usually try to come to all the games, but sometimes I can't. And it's actually a good thing to be able to watch it online. 
that has an added benefit for the families of athletes who are not from around here. It allows everyone to join in live from all over the world. Reporting for Falcon Fever, I'm Jolyn Hanna. To see all the men's and women's home games, be sure to tune in at game time to ustream.tv slash umathletics. Now the men's soccer team wraps up their season by handing out several awards at the team's end of the season banquet. The Falcons captured their second PBC tournament championship in three years. Montevallo also earned the NCAA Team Academic Award. Now, junior Bren Brendan Ledgeway, that's a name we're all familiar with, was named PBC Player of the Year. Pierre Omanga, Gary O'Neill, and seniors Mike Renzema also, and Shane Howard also received all Peach Belt Conference honors. Sorry, uh, Howard was also named to the NCAA Scholars All-Region Team. The Falcons led to the PBC in several categories, including scoring offense, total goals, total assists, total points, and shutout percentage. What a great year for men's soccer. The women's soccer team has been honored for its success in the classroom. The Falcons received the National Soccer Coaches Association of America Team Academic Award. To earn the award, a team must have a cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher. Congratulations and keep hitting those books. UM Athletic Director Jim Herlihy has been named to the NCAA Division II Management Council. The Management Council oversees day-to-day -day operations of the NCAA Division II and implements new policies that will affect member schools. Now it's time to highlight our Falcon Fever Featured Player of the Week. Falcon Fever correspondent JoLynn Hanna joins us now. Welcome back, JoLynn. Hi, guys. It's nice to be back. It seems like forever since we've been here. <laughs> <laughs> um, this week, our featured athlete of the week is number 32 for the women's basketball team, Taylor Beverly. Taylor is a kinesiology major here at UM. Last season, she was named the team's most valuable player. Recently, Taylor had a career high of 27 points during the matchup against USC Aiken. Her hometown is Brandon, Mississippi, where she attended Northwest Rankin High School. When Taylor started playing basketball in the eighth grade, she never looked back. Also, she says that she would like to become a professional basketball player overseas. And in addition to that, she would also like to become a physical therapist after she graduates UM. From an athletic background, um, how does that help you as a basketball player? Well, that helps me a lot because knowing that I have to, what I have to do to get as far as I want to go, and with my mom playing basketball and my dad playing football, that helped me go for everything, really. So I strive really hard. Um, your last game, you scored 25 points and 26 in the, the game before that. Tell me about that. You seem to be scoring really well. Okay, I was just working hard and going for everything. I was thinking about the win and just scoring. You guys seem to work really well together as a team. Um, how does that help on the court? That helps a lot. That helps us win more games. We're working together and pulling each other. Now, Coach Hilbert seems like she's an awesome coach. What's it like for you guys to have a coach like her? She pushes us every day in practice and games, and she's really helped me as a better to be a better basketball player. So I really thank her for that. Thank you, Taylor Beverly, our Falcon Fever Featured Athlete of the Week. <laughs> thank you. Good luck to Taylor and the rest of the team for the rest of the season. If you would like to suggest someone for Falcon Fever Featured Athlete of the Week, just let us know. You can contact us through Facebook or Twitter pages, or leave us a, a comment on our YouTube channel. This brings us to our Falcon Fever Fan of the Week, Casey Beasley. Casey is a UM alumna who recently graduated in December, and if that name sounds familiar, it should. Casey was one of our very own anchors and producer here on Falcon Fever. She has spent many hours on this show, and we'd like to thank her and wish her luck in her career. We miss you a lot, Casey. <laughs> now, remember, you can get more Falcon Fever in YouTube, on our YouTube, and through social media. You can watch current and past episodes of Falcon Fever on the MassCom YouTube channel. Just search for Montevallo for you. And be sure to add us as a friend on Facebook. There you'll find links to sports stories throughout the week and live updates from the games. You can also leave a comment, talk about recent games, or give a shout out to your favorite UM athlete. You can also follow us on Twitter. Just search for UM Falcon Fever. And if you do, leave us a comment on our Facebook or Twitter, and we might feature it on next week's show. And last but not least, you can get extended UM sports coverage on MontevalloFalcons.com. There you can also find team rosters, live stats, pictures, and more. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's show. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll see you then.